Hi, today in this video we're going to be showing you the absolute fastest way to get weather forecast data into your Excel workbooks. We're going to be utilizing the Visual Crossing Weather Data Service as well as Excel workbook that we built for you that allows you to connect and immediately start to get forecasts for your location. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, visit the visualcrossing.com slash blog webpage. You'll notice inside of the blog webpage, you'll find a multi-site weather forecast workbook for Excel. Simply click on the link to visit the blog. Inside the blog, scroll down and you'll notice that there are two downloads for the multi-site forecast weather workbook. We're going to download the simplified version. Simply click on the link and you'll notice in our download bar of our browser that it has downloaded for us. Simply go to that location and open up the weather workbook. You'll notice that this weather workbook has a couple different locations here for us. The locations we have our New York, New York that is querying on by default. Then we have our settings and then we also have our location of our forecast. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to need to enter in our API key. Visual Crossing provides free API keys to both trial users as well as the free license level. You got, there are also paid license level for businesses. If you need to get your own license key, please visit the following link on this page and go to the weather-data services page and sign up. Once you have your key, simply enter it into the location that says enter your key here. Once the key is entered, the system is enabled and you'll be able to make queries into the Visual Crossing Weather Data Service. Let's go ahead and begin. We already have New York, New York on here. We're going to enter an additional location. We'll enter in a full address string 620 Herndon Parkway in Herndon, Virginia. And we'll also enter in a zip code for Chicago, such as 60633. Now the reason we do this is to show off three different features of Visual Crossing that make this possible that other weather data services simply don't have. The first one is that when we retrieve this data, it comes back in CSV format. Most weather data systems only provide JSON, which requires additional coding and scripting. By providing a CSV format in our API, you can load your data directly into Excel, Power BI, Google Sheets, or any relational database. Simply by making the call, it will return it in the format that you see fit. Secondly, you're able to make multiple location queries in a single call. Most weather data services require that you call in single sets of locations and sometimes in single sets of days of locations. Not with Visual Crossing. We allow you to make the call in a single, all, all of these locations into a single call, get back the data, and there's no more additional work for you. The third and final one is the one that you'll notice up here, is you don't need to have your data pre-geocoded into latitude longitude. Many weather data services provide a geocoder but they require that you pre-geocode all of your locations. This is not acceptable for Excel users who often have their data in string formats as we're showing here, cities, full addresses, or zip codes. Visual Crossing takes this string data and automatically converts it into latitude longitude in the same call that it's retrieving your weather forecast data and returns it in the CSV format. Let's go ahead and update our forecast. Now that we've entered our locations, simply go to the grid and click refresh. It called the system and retrieved our, retrieved our weather forecast data for the next 15 days. You'll also notice that some of the cells are highlighted. This is because as part of this weather workbook, we provide threshold warning values. So you'll be able to set these as a user, such as max temp I can set to 65 degrees, or perhaps I'm a construction company and I don't want to pour concrete when it's freezing. I can set my minimum temperature to 30 degrees or I can set how much what's the maximum precipitation in any given day. Once you change these, immediately they'll be highlighted on the grid. The value here is that you can compare a great number of locations and get their forecast for the next 15 days and compare them side by side and look, look for any exceptional conditions in the weather that comes back. Again, we believe this is the fastest possible way to get forecast data into your Excel spreadsheet the spreadsheet is yours to use, yours to customize, and do anything that you need to do with it. If you have any questions on any of the workbooks that we provide, please contact us at support at visualcrossing.com. If you have any general questions, you can mail info at visualcrossing.com.
And we're going to go ahead and leave a link below to the blog page so you can get started immediately. Thank you for watching.